Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Capoeira Math. We got a deep one tonight, and we're going to make a pass valid point. But first, you got to throw out your opinion for a moment, man, so we can get these facts through language, interpretation, definition, etymology, and that, I promise, bacteria and germs will give us the proper math. Meaning the right knowledge, both of them are right, right? So why not take a chance on what I write? Then it's threefold can't be broken rights, which is 60% of the whites. Well, that ain't right. Plus the 13th Amendment say we only three-fifths. Well, three-fifths is a synonym to 60%. We were so-called freed after secession. And for the Reconstructions, right? Well, blacks in the North were not slaves. And the slaves of the South were a part of another country. The Confederate States of that America. That's in their rights. Boys, we hit the jackpot this time. We hit the jackpot because I'm going to give you the math. That's in their rights. By taking 40% of our human rights. That's three wrong rights taken and all written perfect segue to the three words that we need to be defining. Preponderance, purity, and mistrial. First ponderance, y'all. The quality or fact of being greater in number of importance more likely than not. Purity is not unpure, it's pure to the T. Freedom from adulteration. And adulteration means making it poorer quality by addition of another substance. Well, that is a form of contamination. Making something unpure by polluting it from adding an extra by different substance. Now to the math and potatoes of the lesson. Baking soda. Sodium bicarbonate. Bi means dual. More or two folks. One sodium, one hydrogen, one carbon, three oxygens. Hence the perfect baking soda, right? Uh Uh-uh. Not pure anything. Six different substances. Remember, purity means free of substances. So drop the S, because that's the math. Now the potatoes from these bendejos. La coca. Extracted from coca leaves. Then processed to powder form. That's a series of mechanical and chemical chains to preserve something. In this case, la coca ni cinquero. Puro. You know what that means? That means the coca ain't even pure, folks. <laughs> Never mind the baking soda. So the foreman of the jury was given a... Uh, untrue facts to take back to the jury from the judge. And let's don't forget the presiding devil of injustice. Uh-uh. Won't forget them or hims, cause it was all of them's puta bendejos, trust and believe, really awake, not you sleep woke Afro-American people. Man, the jury instructions were illegal. And by law, that's a mistrial. A trial rendered invalid through an error in the proceedings by giving improper instructions. Rule 35B, you better listen to the heathen and you better read the law. No opinions, y'all. Incorrect scientific facts based on definition of purity. Because both cocaine and baking soda are formed from numerous substances. And purity doesn't have an S. And any substance of pure. You know what I'm saying? So I rest our case on the preponderance of the rock-solid evidence. And all people convicted of any quote-unquote pure crack convictions, they should be expunged and immediately released because you can't imprison anyone, people, on false information. And that's exactly what they did. People are in life for it. So welcome to the cabaret of call up Congress, call up Eli and Moses, and tell them to let our people go. Because they got to sip the math, and we got to sip this language, and then sip the definitions in plenty. And these are NAACP facts, not mine or the whites, Jack. If African American and Spanish were incarcerated at the same rate as whites, the prison population would drop. 40%. Well, they spent $81 billion on corrections. That's three times, just three times the rate of any early hood child education. How about 2.3 million blacks convicted on crack cases? Well, that's 2.3 million expunged records they need to break. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it is not only did I prove it by the preponderance and by beyond a reasonable doubt, but I proved it beyond logic. You understand me? They lying. They locked these people up, man. They sent us in prison because they got a wrong definition. That is illegal, ladies and gentlemen. They have to let 2.3 million cases off the books. Peace creation back there never happened with 60%.